Let's go to page 49 and start with number 59. It says in a cyclic quadrilateral ABCD with a diagonal intersect at E and give all this information. So let's go ahead and draw the picture. So in the cyclic, uh, means that it's inscribed in a circle. Okay, so let's go and draw the circle first. And you just kind of draw a kind of a random quadrilateral. Okay, let's label A, B, C, D. Okay, let's go and print all the information. Okay, so quadrilateral A, B, C, D with a diagonal intersect at E. Okay, so let's go and draw the diagonals. Intersect at E. Okay, so when you have a quadrilateral, okay, and what's going to happen is when you draw the diagonals, you're going to get two sets of similar triangle. These two would be similar, these two would be similar. Okay, just be aware of that. Okay, so you got A, B equal to 5. BC equal to 10, and BE equal to 7, and CD equal to 6. And we're looking for CE, we're looking for this over here. Okay, so um, so what we're going to do is we're going to use similar triangle, okay? So to prove that similar triangle is that if you notice that um, this angle is going to be congruent to this angle because both of them have the same arc. Okay, so this one has the arc BC, this one the arc BC, and do the same thing. Okay, so this angle is going to be this angle is going to be congruent to that. Okay, because both of them has an AD. Okay. And this, this would be congruent because this would be vertical angles. Okay. So you can see that from here, you can see triangle ABE is similar to triangle. So ABE, this triangle is similar to this. And you, you're going to match things up. Okay. So A is a one hash mark, so match with the D. And B is a two hash mark, so match with C. And E is matched with E. Okay. Okay, so once you have triangle are similar, then you can find you, you can find the x okay, using the, uh, the the ratio for similar triangle. So you got AB over BE is going to be equal to DC over CE. Okay, and so you got to be careful. So AB is the one that facing the three hash mark. Okay, so it would be matched with DC, the one that facing three hash mark. So the three hash mark over the one facing one hash mark. So it'll be CE, the one facing one hash mark. Okay. And then after you can just put in the numbers. So AB is 5, BE is 7, DC is 6, CE is the one that you're looking for. Okay, cross multiply, and then you divide. So X equal to 42 over 5. Okay, let's go to the next one. Let's go to 61. Okay, so again, you have a quadrilateral inscribing a circle. Okay, so again, let's go and draw the circle. And let's go and draw. Okay, so your quadrilateral A, B, C, D, and then you have uh, number 61, which consecutive side of 8, uh, let's just put 8, 15, 12, in scraping a circle with a circumference. Okay, so your circumference is a 2 pi r, right? Circumference 2 pi r equal to 17 pi. Okay, and so 
divided by that, so you got two r equal to seventeen. So that means diameter. So diameter equal to seventeen. Okay, and it says given that AC is a diameter, so AC is a diameter. So AC is a diameter, and we from here we can see diameter is seventeen. So this is seventeen. Okay, and you also can get it from here. So because by doing that, okay. So if you notice this, so if this is a diameter, this would be a right triangle. So this would be a right angle. If this is a right angle, this would be a right angle because opposite angles are 180 degrees. It just be aware of that. So right away we we know those information. Okay, and what's the length of the other diagonal? Okay, so we're looking for this diagonal over here. What's the length of the other diagonal? Okay, so we're looking for this diagonal right over here. Okay, to find this diagonal first, we need to find this side over here. Okay, so that's so to find AD, we're going to use Pythagorean theorem because triangle ADC is a right triangle because AC is a diameter, so this would be right triangle. This would be a right triangle. Okay, so. Um, AD squared, so this side, plus DC squared, you go to AC squared, right? Pythagorean theorem. So AD squared plus 144 equal to 287. And subtract, so you got AD squared equal to 145, right? minus 144, minus 144. Uh, 289. Okay, so 80 equal to square root of 145. Okay, so let's put it over here. Okay, so once we find once we find all four sides, and then then we can find the diagonal using the Ptolemy's uh, theorem. Okay, so you get AC times BD. So basically, you, the opposite side. So this times this plus this times this equal to diagonal times diagonal. Okay. So AC times BD, diagonal times diagonal, will equal to AB times uh, CD plus BC times AD. Okay. So AC we know is 17, BD, uh, AB is 8, CD is 12 plus 15 times square root of 145. Okay, so we can divide by 17. So BD equal to 96 plus 15 square root of 145 over 17. Okay, and that's it. Okay, let's go to the next one, number 62. Inscribing a circle is a quadrilateral. Okay, so again, it's a quadrilateral. So that's, um, next one is 62. So it's a quadrilateral in a circle. So it's going to be A, B, C, D. Again, it doesn't give you any, so I'm just assign random variable, okay? And uh, assign the random letter. Okay, so it says, save the size, so you got 25, 39, 52, 48, 60. Okay, taking conceivably. So what is the diameter of the circle? So you're looking for diameter. So the things you need to recognize is this right over here. See, it's 39 and 52, okay? So that's going, that's going to draw this diagonal over here, okay? 
And so what you want to do is see the 39 and 52, okay? We're going to check, see if this is a diameter, okay? We're going to see if this fits the, so we're going to just guess, use an educated guess, but we recognize these numbers over here, okay? So we're going to call it BD over here. So notice you can factor out a 13, so we can factor out the 13, so it becomes 3, 4, and so we're going to, we're going to guess this as a 5 and then we're going to check. We're going to use, we're going to use this to guess this and we're going to use it to check if our guess is correct. Okay? And so BD will equal to 65. Okay, so we're going to put 65 over here. Okay? Now, so we're going to just guess that this is a right triangle and this is a diameter. Okay? And we're going to check see if our guess, our assumption is true. Okay, so if this is a right triangle, this would be, if this is a right angle, this would be also a right angle. Again, right now we're just guessing, we're just assuming, but we're going to check see if our guess is correct. So we're going to check this, see if this fits. Okay, so if this is 65, see if it fit. So you got 25, 60, 65. Okay, so factor out of 5, you get 5, 12, 13, so it checks. Okay, so, so this indeed, it, this would be the, the, um, the, hypotenuse of the right triangle for both, okay? So, so by guessing and checking, we can see that this is a diameter, okay? So BD equal to 65, okay? The diameter. So this is a diameter. Okay. Now in some math form, they can also ask you to look for AC. So in case if you're looking for AC, okay, so they, they can have this kind of problem, give you four, give you four sides, and then you're looking for AC, okay? So since AC is not, not a diameter, so you can throw a lot of people off, okay? So you have to find BD first, the diameter, okay? Find this diagonal. Once you find this diagonal, you can find this diagonal, okay? So to find AC, again, what you do is use the autonomy's um, uh, theorem, okay? So you're gonna get AB, times CD plus BC times AD equal to the diagonal times the diagonal, okay? So again, so again this is just an extra that, that I'm doing, okay? Because this, this kind of problem can show up in, in a competition. Okay, so just putting all the numbers in there. So you got 25 times 52 plus 39 times 60 equal to BD is 65 times AC. Okay. So AC will equal to, uh, this one will be 1300 plus 2340 over 65. And then when you simplify, you got AC equal to 3640 over 65. And when you divide, it actually come up very nice, equal to 56. You can reduce, you can reduce by five, you get 13. Reduce by five, you get 728. And then you can, you can divide this, give you 56. Okay, let's go to the next one. Let's go to 67. Okay, so in the figure ABCD is a quadrilateral. So this is the, the picture is giving on the right. Okay, so in this case, what we're going to do is, um, again, this, this will fit inside, a, this will also fit inside a, a circle. So I'm going to draw the circle first. And for this one, I'm going to just draw... I'm going to use pencil to draw first. Okay. 
Okay, so my quite lateral will look something like this. Okay, so the picture is given is this is A, B, C, D, and this is E, and this is F. Okay, so, so it says in the figure A, B, C, D is a quadrilateral with a right angle at A and C. Okay, and the, re the, the reason we know that this is going to fit in here is because this is the right angle. So this is 180, and it's a right angle. So from here we can see that there's a, so this would be a diameter. So here's a diameter of, so here's a diameter of the circle, okay? But in this case, we, we don't need that yet. Okay, so that's gonna put in all the information. So it tell you that this is perpendicular, this is perpendicular. Now, AE equal to three. So put y over here, so a equal to 3, de equal to 5, and ce equal to 7. Okay, and then you're looking for bf. So you're looking for bf right over here. Okay. Um, so for this one, what we're going to do is, so bf, if you, if you were to draw, if you were to since since this is this since these are right angles, okay, so these are parallel. So if you extend if you extend this up, if you extend these things up, this would be a rectangle right over here, and this would be straight across. Okay. So I'm gonna call this point M, and this would be also the X right over here. Right? So this is the X, this is what we're looking for. Right? And we're going to just slide it over, okay? And because because this is the right angle, this would be a right angle. So when we slide it over, it would fit nicely, okay? Because it would it, it would form a, a a rectangle, okay? So once we once we see that, then the problem should be fairly easy. We can use use the um, the the point uh, power uh, equation. So we have this over here times this over here equal to this over here times this over here so in a circle okay, okay. but again the key is recognize that when these are perpendicular okay and since all these are these are perpendicular then when you draw these things up it will be parallel to that it will become a rectangle and so, so once we do that, then we can slice over, then we can write the, um, the, the equation, right? So you're gonna have fun, the, so you're gonna have the ME, so, the, so this times this, will equal to this times this. Okay, so you got X times five, equal to 7 times 3 and so you divide by 5 divide by 5 so x equal to 21 over 5 and that's it okay, okay let's go to the next one Okay, in a quadrilateral ABCD with diagonal AC and BD intersecting at O, and then you, and they give you all the information. Okay, so again, let's go ahead and quadrilateral.
Okay, so your quadrant to A, B, C, D with diagonal AC and BD. So AC and BD intersect at O. And it says BO equal to 4, OD equal to 6. AO equal to 8 and OC equal to 3 AB equal to 6 and AD oh, so you're looking for AD so that's what you have okay Okay, over here the problem didn't say it's cyclic, but I guess it's kind of they kind of assume that it is cyclic quite quite like home. Okay, so if that's the case, um, again, so this angle is going to be congruent to this angle because both of them have the subtend the, the BC. Okay, and flip it over this way. You, again, this is going to be similar. These two angles are congruent because this angle is this this arc right over here, this angle is this arc over here. And then you have the vertical angles, okay? So you have so you have triangle A B O. So triangle this triangle is similar to triangle D C O. Okay. And then we can write the the ratio. Okay. So you're gonna have the D C over C O. Okay, again these two sim these two triangles are similar. So so it's DC over CO. So, so the, the three hash, so the one is facing three hash over the one facing one hash. So it'd be equal to the one facing three hash over the one facing one hash. So it'd be BO. Okay, so substitute all the numbers in here. So you got DC over three equal to six over four. All right, so three, six over four. And multiply by three. So DC equal to 18 over 4. So DC equal to 9 over 2. So we can put the numbers over here. So this is 9 over 2. Okay. And so again, to find this, we need to, we have to use Ptolemy's uh, theorem. So we need to know this side also. Okay. Okay. So we're going to use this two triangle now. Okay, so triangle BCO is similar to triangle ADO. Okay, so again, so these two triangles are similar. Okay, and and again, so these two will match, and these two will match. These two match. Okay, so we're gonna use a ratio. So you got AD over AO, so AD over AO will equal to BC over BO. And AD is X, AO is 8, BC we don't know, and BO is 4. Okay, so multiply by 4, multiply by 4, so this cancel out, so BC equal to X over 2, okay, so we can put this over here, X over 2. Okay, so now we can apply Ptolemy's uh, theorem, we're going to go up here and do this, okay. So use Ptolemy's theorem, okay, we have AB, so this times DC plus BC times AD so you can opposite side part of opposite side this times this plus this times this we equal to diagonal times diagonal okay so that's all we have so now let's go and substitute everything in here so AB is equal to 6 DC is 9 over 2 
BC is x over 2, AD is x, and AC is 11, BD is 10. Okay, so let's go and work it through. So this cancel out. So you got 27 plus x squared over 2 equal to 110 minus 27. So x squared over 2 equal to uh, 83. Multiply by 2 or cross multiply. You got x squared equal to 166. Okay. And then take the square root. So x equal to square root 166.